Welcome to Innovate and Conversate, where we discuss the latest innovations and trends in the business world. I'm your host, Jana, and today we're going to be talking about digital transformation in the pharmaceutical manufacturing and healthcare industries. With me today is Mr. Ahmad Khalid, IT manager at ITCAN Pharma. Welcome, Mr. Ahmad. Thank you, Jana, for having me. I'm so excited to discuss with you regarding digital transformation. If you want to start off by defining uh, digital transformation and mentioning why is it so crucial for these industries, what would you say? Digital transformation means using a new technology to make sure streamline operation and improve decision making, uh, including the increase uh, the efficiency. In the pharmaceutical industries, this means, means using a new machine to do the task automatic and the tracking supply area, including the catching the product quality itself to ensure everything meeting with their uh, uh, safety rule uh, expectation. And uh, companies in the pharmaceutical manufacturing and healthcare, when they embark on digital transformation, they face roadblocks. What are some of the biggest challenges they face and how do they overcome them? In the pharmaceutical, in the pharmaceutical industry, they are facing three main challenges, culture, technology and financial. Many people resisted to change uh, and refused to go with the new technology during they are using all their own old system okay because may face uh, hard learn the new technology itself and the switching from old system to new system also and the transfer the data also it will face uh, some difficult and will not be easy for them to overcome these challenges okay companies should have a clear plan about of these things and good le- leadership also uh, and the uh, companies should be a clear communication about the benefits and they should be including also have a strong plan for managing the changes. And what would you say are the most important steps uh, for organizations transitioning from legacy systems to um, modern solutions? First of all, it's very important the companies should have a clear plan and the companies should uh, need to clear communication about the benefits and the digital goals, how it will fit with the uh, business requirement itself. Choosing right technology like SAP also, it will help connect all the department together, okay, to get uh, accurate data and realistic. In the pharmaceutical industries, using a digital technology, it will help things run better and reduce the mistakes and make production faster, including the minimizing of the cost. And also it will help the track supply chain and avoid the problem before they happen. And the quality control also become better and making the medicine a meeting with the, uh, let's say, uh, regulatory affairs. Is there any specific technology that you would recommend for companies who are transitioning to digital transformation? Absolutely, Jana, is there. The AI tools, it is the trend right now in the market, to be honestly. And also machine learning is very important, both tools to be have it in the pharmaceutical industries uh, to make the uh, streamline the operation also, make a good plan, and the uh, AI tools also, it will help the organization to uh, let them estimate how long, how much they need to manufacture medicines. And uh, the more benefits uh, and add value for AI tools, it will help the organization to know the problem before they happen. Mm. Let me explore one thing. I have been done it uh, or I done some small exercise. Uh, if we implement the AI tools on the infrastructure area, let us say, example, take it for server or uh, SAB system itself, the AI tools, it will work, uh, yani they have the advanced, to, uh, the advanced technology, it will find the problem before they happen. And it will generate the report itself and to let you know how to solve the issue before happening, to avoid the interruption of the process itself. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, for, for organizations still relying on legacy systems, what would you say are the first steps they should take in order to hop on this digital transformation? Yes. Uh, first of all, the, we should be have, yani, from my point of view, we should be have focus, uh, first of all, on the dedicated area and the specific core area on line production to be implemented, uh, the uh, new technology is there, okay? After that, we can see the results. Uh, it is matching with their business requirement or not. Uh, if getting success and everything working smoothly and the, uh, the realistic data and accurate data has been fitting nicely, we can continue for the remaining line of production to implement it and get successfully. And looking ahead, what would you say is the future of uh, digital transformation in these uh, two industries in specific? Uh, it will make in the pharmaceutical industries the work faster uh, and the uh, accurate data and realistic also it will be including these tools. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ahmad. This brings us to the end of the podcast. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you to our listeners for tuning in. We'd love to hear back from you on which topics you would like for us to discuss next. Until next time, stay innovative and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.